Yes, it is a moment of surrendering ourselves. All that we are to the living presence of Jesus Christ, the Redeemer, the Redeemer of the humanity. The bread that was given from heaven come down from heaven to feed His people. The eternal presence of God's love, God's mercy. And it is He who loves us so much, who desires to be imprisoned in a tabernacle because He loves us. He is there always for us. And He is present. He is alive. He is the risen Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. It is a Trinitarian love. It is a Trinitarian presence. The Father is seen. The Son is seen. The Holy Spirit is visible in Jesus Christ as Redeemer and Savior. We have come on our knees before Him because He is Lord. We love Him and He loves us. We love him so much that he comes down to touch us, to bless us, to renew us, to heal us once again from all that we want to be clean, cleansed and healed. What a wonderful moment as it was in the case of St. Peter on the mountain. When Jesus appeared, when Jesus was in the presence of Moses and Elijah, covered by a cloud, heard in the voice of God the Father, he wants to put up three tents. What a marvelous, what a marvelous experience was that. It is the same experience that we are making today in the presence of the Lord we want to put up tents because we want to have him always we have given him a tabernacle and we have preserved him because we love him we know that without him we cannot live we cannot live we cannot survive and this is what we are going to hear from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. A letter St. Paul writes from a prison in prison in Corinthine. When he was imprisoned over there during the winter 
during three months of winter while in prison he writes to a community of the philippians that he founded in a province of the roman province of macedonia and there were false prophets and there was false teaching the people were misled misguided they were taken away from the true lord and the true worship and therefore we find in paul writes to his people to his community in chapter 2 verses 1 to 5 paul is pleading with them to have the humble attitude of jesus christ as their master as their savior and not to be guided and controlled by selfish ambitions and pride the power craving the craving for power the craving for wealth craving for recognition no he is promoting he is asking exalting the people not to go away not to leave aside the humble attitudes of Jesus Christ the messiah who came down from heaven who died for us on the cross and is present for us in this eucharist we are with the redeemer we are in the presence of the creator what a beautiful experience is that to see the creator and the redeemer St Paul says in chapter 2 they are for in his letter to the Philippians verses 1 to 5 your life in Christ makes you strong and his love comforts you you have fellowship with the spirit and you have kindness and compassion for one another I urge you then to make me completely happy by having the same thoughts share in the same love and being one in soul and mind don't do anything from selfish ambition or from a cheap desire to boast but be humble towards one another always consider in others better than yourselves and look out for one another's interests not just for your own the attitude you should have is the one that Christ Jesus had he always had the nature of god but he did not think that by force he should try to become equal with god instead of this of his own free will he gave up all he had and he took the nature of a servant he became like man and appeared in humble likeness this is the word of god thanks be to god yes my dear brothers and sisters in christ what a marvelous experience that we are making that we are feeling in our body and heart in our blood and bones and it is an experience that overcomes us with joy and fear because we are in the presence of the redeemer and we are in the presence of the creator and saint paul is asking his people in the in the community of the philippi the philippians in the roman province of macedonia the people who were misled by false teaching paul is exalting them to assume absorb live the humble attitude of jesus christ as jesus humbled himself to die for us on a cross and he continues to humble himself to be imprisoned in a tabernacle to be worshiped 
to be loved, to be seen and received by us. It is for us He is there. Let us praise Him. Let us thank Him. Let us adore Him. Let us beg Him to bless us with that blessing to make us humble like Him. To make us the servants and the slaves of God's love. To love one another as you have loved us. To love one another as we love ourselves. Yes, Lord, you have been merciful to your land and to your people. As we read and pray in the book of Psalms, Psalm 85. Yes, Lord, you made Israel prosperous again. You have forgiven your people sins. And you pardoned all their wrongs. You stopped being angry with them and held back your furious rage. Yes, my Lord, bring us back, O oh God, our Savior, we pray. And stop being displeased with us, your poor children and sinners. Will you be angry again with us? Angry with us forever? Will your anger never cease, O Lord? We pray today once again, make us strong again, Lord. And we, your people, will praise you. Show us your constant love, O Lord, our Redeemer the most holy sacrament of the altar 
and give us this day your saving help. Yes, Lord, grant us your saving help. Deus cui nobis sub sacramenta mirabili, passionis tue memoriam reliquisti, tribu equesimus sita nos corporis, et sanguinis tui sacra misteria venerari, ut redemptionis tue fructum, et nobis iuti recensiamus, cui vivis et regnas in secula seculorum, 